Hi, I'm Andrew with Prudent Reviews, and in this video, I'm reviewing Uni Pizza Ovens. I'll quickly run through their pros and cons, then I'm going to show you the differences between pizza cooked in an Uni versus pizza cooked in a regular oven, on a pizza stone, and on a sheet pan. Full disclosure, Uni sent me this oven, but this is not a sponsored video and they are not paying me to make it. Without further ado, let's get started. The greatest benefit of Uni is its ability to produce perfect pizza crust, crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. The high heat and stone surface quickly cook the dough. The stone is porous, so it draws out moisture from the dough and makes the crust dry and crispy, just like you'd get with pizza cooked in a large brick oven in a restaurant. Uni ovens can reach up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit, and because of the high heat, pizza cooks extremely fast. They advertise that you can cook a pizza in as little as 60 seconds, although I've found two to three minutes to be the sweet spot. Unlike a traditional oven, the exposure to open flames in an uni makes it easy to brown the cheese and make toppings like pepperoni nice and crispy. You can control the browning by adjusting the flame and positioning the pizza closer to the front or the back of the oven. With a standard oven, you place your pizza on a stone or a baking sheet and just wait for it to be done. With the uni, you have to rotate and monitor the pizza throughout the process. If you already enjoy making pizza, it's even more fun to learn how to make a pizza like the pros. Uni's propane and gas models come fully assembled. All you need to do is unfold the oven legs, insert the pizza stone, and securely connect the gas supply. With the multi-fuel models, you'll also need to connect the chimney vent. Once your oven is set up, run it for 30 minutes, then let it cool completely, and wipe the interior with dry paper towels. This step prepares the oven for use and burns off any excess oils left over from the manufacturing process. The Karu 16 is compatible with propane, natural gas, wood, and charcoal. The Karu 12 works with propane, wood, and charcoal. And the Koda 16 works with propane and gas, but not wood or charcoal. Propane and gas are certainly the easiest, but wood and charcoal adds a nice smoky flavor that you can only get in a pizza oven. Uni pizza ovens are well built and made to last. The materials vary by model, but they're either made of powder-coated carbon steel, stainless steel, or a combination of both. The pizza stones are made out of cordierite stone, they can handle extremely high temperatures, they conduct heat efficiently, and they're thermal shock resistant. Uni pizza ovens are portable, and you can get fabric carrying covers for the Karu 12, Koda 12, and Fira 12 that make it even easier to transport. Cleaning Uni pizza ovens is easy. Remove the stone, wipe the crumbs from the bottom of the oven, and flip the stone before putting it back. The bottom of your stone will thoroughly clean itself next time you cook. There's a lot to love about the Uni, but like any product, there are negatives. Here are the downsides to consider before buying one. The first and most obvious downside is the price. Uni pizza ovens are expensive. The lowest cost model is $350, and the higher end multi-fuel options like the Karu 16 will cost you around $800. But besides the oven, you also need to buy a pizza peel, a turning peel, and an infrared thermometer. You also need a heat resistant stand and an oven cover. If you have a portable model and plan to take the oven on the go, you might need a carrying case. While it's less expensive to buy an uni than to build and maintain a stationary outdoor pizza oven, it's still a significant investment. It takes time to learn how to properly use the uni. It's normal to ruin a few pizzas before you get the hang of it. Unlike a standard oven where you set a timer and it's done, you need to pay close attention, turning the pizza every 30 seconds or so. When cooking with such high heat, the margin for error is much smaller. It's common for pizza dough to stick to the peel as you slide it into the oven. This causes the toppings to spill and burn on the stone. When this happens, it's a huge mess and it's almost impossible to salvage the pizza. Sticking usually happens when there's not enough flour on the peel, or you're taking too long to build your pizza as it sits on the peel. For best results, have all of your toppings ready so you can quickly assemble your pizza on the peel and put it in the oven. Give the peel a shake every 10 seconds or so to make sure the dough isn't sticking before you launch it into the oven. It takes at least 15 minutes to preheat the uni, but usually it's more like 25 or 30. So while it cooks pizza in one to three minutes, expect the whole process to take around 30 to 35. If you're using gas or propane and plan to cook on a breezy day, it will require a little bit of patience. Several times I've dealt with the wind blowing out the flame. You might need to play around a little bit with the position of the oven to block the wind. The Uni Karu 16 comes with a hinged oven door, which helps prevent heat loss. It opens easily when the oven's off, but it seems to lock up when the oven is super hot, likely due to the steel expanding. You really have to tug on the handle hard to get it open sometimes. Make sure the table or stand you're using is sturdy so you don't accidentally pull the oven off. 
Adjusting the screws on the latch fixes this issue, but it's something to be aware of the first few times you cook. Unis are known for cooking pizza much better than a regular oven, and that's really the main draw of this product. But how much better is it really? To find out, I cooked three pizzas. One in the uni, the second in a standard oven on a pizza stone, and the third in a standard oven on a sheet pan. For all three, I used the same store-bought dough and the same amount of sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. I stretched each dough using the same techniques to the same thickness. The one difference between each pizza was the cooking technique. For the first pizza, I preheated the uni for 30 minutes until the stone was the ideal temperature. I use propane because it's more convenient than wood and charcoal, and it's easier to control the temperature. Then I quickly built the pizza on the peel and launched it in the oven. It took about three minutes to fully cook. For the second pizza, I placed the pizza stone in the oven and preheated the oven to 450. After 30 minutes, I removed the stone and quickly but carefully assembled the pizza on the stone before putting it back in the oven. This pizza took around 12 minutes to cook. For the third pizza, I preheated the oven to 450, assembled the pizza on a room temperature sheet pan, and popped it in. This pizza took about 14 minutes to cook. All right, so now it's time to try the three pizzas. And I'm gonna start with the pizza that we cooked in the oven on a sheet pan. So this is definitely the thinnest of the three slices, as you can see. It's got good flavor. It's definitely cooked well. If you don't like them well done, you might not like this slice, but I, I do like my pizza well done. The bottom is kind of like a cracker. Um, there's a little chew to it, but it's really like a thin, it came out really thin. Next we have the slice that we cooked in the oven on the pizza stone. Got a little bit more bounce in the crust. Uh, it's still, you know, no flop whatsoever. Let's give it a try. Definitely a little bit more flavor. Um, the dough is a little bit more chewy. Both were good, but this is, I would definitely say this is one step up from the sheet pan. And now we have the pizza that we cooked in the uni. This is definitely a lot thicker. It poofed up a lot more than the other two slices. Uh, the bottom definitely has a little bit more char on it. And the top is nice and soft and fluffy. So let's give this a try. A lot more chew to it, a lot more bounce in the dough, more of like a smoky flavor from the bottom, from the char here. Honestly, these two, the ones I cooked in the oven, they taste like homemade pizza. Uh, this one, the one in the uni, this tastes like pizza that you'd get at a restaurant, like a brick oven pizza. All three were good, but this, this one is definitely a step above even the one cooked on the pizza stone. So are uni pizza ovens worth buying? If your goal is to cook the best tasting pizza possible, you enjoy making pizza and you do it frequently, then yes, an uni is worth the investment. It's one of the best portable pizza oven brands on the market. If you enjoy entertaining, the uni is a great way to hang out with your guests instead of being stuck in the kitchen. But if you only make pizza once in a while and don't wanna fuss with the peel, or all the accessories needed to make it all work smoothly, save yourself some money and buy a quality pizza stone. It mimics the pizza oven, but costs a fraction of the price. If you're ready to buy or just wanna learn more, I'll link to uni.com and other websites that sell uni pizza ovens in the description of this video. Those are affiliate links, so I will earn a commission if you click and buy, but at no extra cost to you. If you found this video helpful, check out this video where I break down the best cookware made in the USA. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.